on the FIVB World Tour for Gavira. He will be a threat. He's only won one gold with his partner, Pablo Herrera. They're looking to win their second medal though on the FIVB World Tour as we head to meet the Netherlands. Alexander Brouwer, world champion in 2013 in Star Jablonki with this man, his partner. Robert Mewson, this team are physical. They go hard from the baseline, and powerful at the net. Mewson at two meters seven, six foot nine, poses a big threat at the net, and he's hard to get around to. He gets some useful blocks and causes opposition's problems all day long. Expect this one to go down to the wire. Herrera Gavira just lost out to Dalhousie Luceni yesterday in what was a thrilling semi-final match. But they've come through Kappa McHugh, the Australians. They've beaten Turkey, hiding and born from the USA. They lost to Dalhousie in the center, and they also lost to Manuel and Ricardo, one of the best teams ever. Power to start proceedings off here by Robert Mewson. Absolutely no surprise there from this Dutch team. They will be physical, they will be high, and they will hit the ball very, very hard. Alexander Brewer, his team's first serve. Easy handed toss, big high snap. Gavir is the target. He tries to utilize one down the line, but he just misses out agonizing in place. You'll see that a lot of teams will actually go after Pablo Herrera, the older statesman of this Spanish team. But they've seemed to change up their tactics, teams, this weekend. There is quite a strong breeze going right to left as well. It's a good pass this from Gavira. This sets a little bit wide, but somehow he accesses that really sharp angle, impressive stuff. You'll see that both of these Spanish players have very good vision. They'll look, you see, not once, once there, twice at the bottom of the jump, and then or look right at the top of the jump as well to make sure that they know exactly how the opposition defense is lined up. Pass it sneaks slightly to the right, but more physicality shown from Alexander Burra. This time from the middle of the court, just spiking one to the right side. Slight two-point advantage here for the Netherlands, but it won't matter too much early on in this game. It's on the Spain hang in there. That one's a ferocious serve from Robert Newson, but misses the sideline. Vera with the ball in hand, set into this win. This big deflection off the net band, it goes out the left side. More power off the hands or the head of Pablo Herrera, I'm not sure. But Brewer puts everything he's got into that one. Off the fingertips of Pablo Herrera. He's won three golds on the world tour. Herrera Guevara seemed to be around, been around forever, but they've only won their first gold medal on the World Tour this year as a pairing in Moscow and they're looking to add to their collection this year with a bronze here. Either team winning bronze, they'll be very happy with their week's work. Pablo Herrera is the target this time. The ball is drifting on, you can tell how windy it is when the ball drifts on like that. Second chance, oh, dumped straight down from Robert Mewson. We said at six foot nine, he's gonna cause problems for this Spanish team. Just delays his timing on the block, goes after it, out jousts. His partner the first time, second time, he's up and that left hand and that left wrist is right over the ball and he just throws it straight down. Can we see more service pressure from Holland with the service pressure, but Herrera passes fairly comfortably. He's well off the net though. Irrelevant as Pablo Herrera is one of the best off the net hitters around, that's for sure. After the previous set from Gavira drifting too close to the net, it's no surprise that he just tries to bring that one off. So it doesn't help when you've got a six foot nine blocker trying to stop the ball from coming over the net as well. Service error, but they'll go high risk for high reward today, Spain, that's for sure. Three point lead for the Netherlands, they've 
been a little bit more clinical early on. Say that that ball has gone miles. From Robert Neeson. Spatches it well out the back. More jump saves this time from Spain. Oh, line judge is giving it in. It's questionable decision. Alex Brewers just having a little bit of an investigation, but he lets it go. It's a great serve from Spain and Gavira. Too close to call. I wouldn't want to be in the shoes of the line judge on that one. Makes the callers in. It's a point to Spain. Recent from the right side, quite wide. More power, more accuracy from the big Dutch boys who really did come through to fame, winning the world championships in Star Jablonki in 2013. They've been around a little bit before that, but they really... That was their big break onto the World Tour, and since then they've been consistent. They didn't get the performance that they wanted in their home World Championships this year, but they've done very well. And that's a crushing block from Robert Mewson. I think he just dives into the angle a little bit there, taking the territory. You can see just... Going fairly late in the block, imposing with his hands. It's a good finish with his wrists. That ball goes straight down. There you go. You can see he's jumping into the angle there. Taking the cross-court hit away from Herrera and taking another point for the Netherlands. Ah, oh, netband baby from the Netherlands. Hits the top of the tape and drops down. They won't feel too bad about that. Alexander Brewer, this team are known for the way that they attack the serve and their side out play. It's time out time here. It's a four point lead for the Netherlands. As we look at some highlights for what has been a heavy hitting Dutch performance. Brower and Neeson cause a massive threat against any team in the world. Their physicality, their power, and their ability to serve teams off court is already showing here because they have been the better team to start with. Herrera and Gavira as we join them in the team talk. Very similar, the very quiet team talk. Still quietness from the Dutch as well. They've only just really started this game, so I can't imagine that their plans would have changed too much. You see that the team will probably change tactics a little bit later in the first set or possibly the second set when they figure out whether their initial plans have worked. The crowd in Long Beach is still full and we're expecting it to get even busier for the men's gold medal match, which is going to be between the new pairing of Phil Dalhauser and Nick Lucena. Dalhauser heated up in the second two sets yesterday, going to three against Herrera Gavira, but Dalhauser blocking, not for the first time. His serving and his blocking was the game changer. Phil Dalhauser doing what Phil Dalhauser does best. Herrera Gavira won three of the last four meetings against this Dutch team, but for this season in 2015, they're tied at one win apiece. Spain won in three in Yokohama, and the Netherlands won in two in Stavanger. But overall, this Spanish pairing just have the edge over their Dutch opponents. Makes for a very interesting battle because 
jump serving like yes, that sir. from Alex Brara. It's unstoppable bullets from the baseline. And as good a passer as Adrian Gavira is, they're unreceivable. Hitting from a very, very high point, going right the way through the ball. Brower again, more service pressure, this time to Herrera. Herrera on the left, takes a touch off the block and takes a point to Spain. And it was a point that they needed desperately after a very good run of points from the Spanish. They've stamped their authority here, the Netherlands. One thing is, is the amount of power that they've got, sometimes their consistency does go. They're serving, complements their side out play. And when they're both running well together, they are unstoppable, this team. Oh, what a shot down the line. Taking Herrera out. Herrera's in trouble here. He goes down holding his knee. The crowd goes quiet. He's not moving well here, Herrera. Worrying scenes for the Spanish. The second referee has to go in and get involved as well. It was an unbelievable angle from Newson. I don't think the Spanish are happy. Newson has hit that so hard down the line. And his energy going through the ball has continued to go underneath the net and taken out his opponent. He's going to need a minute here, Herrera, because these guys, Robert Newson at six foot nine, is not the lightest of customers. Herrera does need a break, the Olympic silver medalist from 2004. And it's very rare that you see scenes like that. Herrera just needs a minute to rest and regather himself. Interesting to see if that fires up Herrera or if he's affected by it. Here you go, we're going to see it again. There's an angle and a half from Newsom, but look, he lands and then he lands right on Pablo Herrera, who twists and turns and lands on the floor. Right the way through is, you can see his knee twist as he lands on the floor holding it. We're back on court. Spain don't get the point because first referee suggests that Mewson didn't interfere with play and that he didn't. And the ball was already killed before he went through the net anyway. Players are ready to go again. He's holding his knee still there. Pablo Herrera. Chances are, after that little bit of destruction, he'll probably get this serve as well. Yes, he does. No surprise there. A bit of sportsmanship from the Dutch testing out Herrera. Herrera then hits high and long. So that's maybe the first sign that that's affected him. That's very rare of Herrera to hit maybe six or seven metres out the back of the court. Six-point game, and the Dutch here are running away with it. Herrera still holding his knee a little bit there, but it's natural to hold the knee during the service receive. Second chance though for Herrera. He's made another error. This is very uncharacteristic for Pablo Herrera. He's made two hitting errors in a row after almost being taken out by Robert Mewson. It's maybe just affected his psyche through side out. Third time, this time they move him short and he really needs to find a side out here because the Dutch are flying. Well, Red Alexander Brower now has a chance to convert, and that's a big physical blow. But Kavira makes an outstanding defense low to his left, and then the roll shot is picked up. Magnificent from Brower! Big transition play from the Dutch. Two exemplary defenses from Brower, both times not managing to get the kill the first time, but forcing pressure on the Spanish. Three missed side outs in a row for Kavira. Telling a tale that possibly that collision earlier on has made an impact on his game. That from Brower is too high and too hard. Transition play of the highest class from the Dutch. They're one of the biggest teams on tour, a six foot six defender. Boy, oh boy, does Alex Brera move around the court. No surprise, Herrera is a target again. Missing three side outs in a row. They get another touch here, and Newton can turn. But they're all at sea here, the Dutch, and it should be a Spanish point. 
more flirting with the net, more frustration from Spain. Herrera is pointing at Musen and Brower suggesting that some of their behavior is unsportsmanlike. He's not happy, is he, Pablo Herrera? A, because his team is seven points down, but B, because they're flirting with the net here a lot, Brower and Musen, meaning that they're going under the net. Whatever happens, Pablo Herrera is far more affected by it than the Dutch pairing up. You are going to help them. Oh my goodness, this is Hannah and Erica. This is getting interesting. On all fours, right over the box, Hannah. Okay, listen, Hannah was in a strong way. Yeah, it's come back and no wonder they're frustrated here the Spanish they've only won one out of the last 10 points it's a nine point win streak from Brower and Mewson which is giving them a firm grip on this game it's going to be hard for the Spanish to get back diving set from Mewson it's beautiful. The block was good from the Spanish, but unfortunately he couldn't quite get over the ball, so the ball just slaps back off the hand and then goes at the back of the Netherlands court. It's a rare service error from Alex Brewer, who's service pressure has been a difference in this first set for sure they've really taken the game to their spanish opponents Newsom from the middle there's a block from pablo herrera and that reaction might just be a little bit of a momentum changer for herrera and gavira who have struggled in this one look at that it's a hard swing from Newsom matched in the block by Herrera big dominant force not the biggest team on tour this Spanish team they go late in the block quite a lot they rely on their service pressure it's a hard float serve towards Mewson who wants to try and avoid the block this time he does choose to take pace off the ball oh, what a touch Pablo Herrera full stretch right hand second chance for the Dutch this time they do convert after what was very very nice Reaction from Pablo Herrera, who's actually fired up a little bit here. Look at this reaction, just ball's always going away from him. Somehow try, gets underneath it, flicks his wrist, and gets the ball back over the net. But then Brower just knows, has a look, sees Gavira's jumping into the angle, leaves the line open, and has a good three meters to aim into. Still, big advantage here to the Dutch. They lead by seven more net band action. Pablo Herrera, he's not sided out well, hits the block again. Robert Mewson gets his own back on Pablo Herrera. That was a much steeper block though from the Dutch. Big, big action from a very high airspace from Robert Mewson. He's six foot nine and he jumps well. The big man from Holland has put his team into an eight point lead and they are running away with this first set. Ace from Newson. He's backed up his block with a massive ace from the back line. This is how this team roll. Big service pressure and they make blocks. They hit the ball hard in their side out play. As he said, when they're on a roll, this team, they are really hard to stop. They will beat anybody. But when they start getting consistent miss serves and miss side outs, they really do struggle to get back in the game. Now is Broa with the defense with a chop back angle. That's four or five that I remember from this set. Alex Brower just scampering around the backcourt, making plays. 19-9. We hit a timeout, and Spain are all at sea here. They're really, really struggling. We're going to have a look at some highlights from what has been a big serving, a big blocking, and a big side-out game so far from the Dutch.
been a game where the Spanish have struggled to find momentum, find consistency. The Dutch, on the other hand, they have been ruthless. Some moments from Herrera and Gavira, but not enough to cause this team as many problems as they would have liked. Brower and Mewson, my oh my. They have been unstoppable. It's not a very happy camp on the Spanish bench. Herrera, Gavira, well, I guess, what do you say? Everything they try, they either get blocked or they get dug, and then they struggle to side out. Interesting point is that this game was a lot closer before Pablo Herrera did get taken out underneath the net by Robert Mewson. That has damaged Pablo Herrera for sure. The fans are enjoying their action here. Starting to crowd in for the final match as well, which will be an unbelievable game of beach volleyball from Long Beach. Bill Dalhauser and new partner Nick, Nick Lucena on the back of their Manhattan Beach Open victory last week on the AVP, who are up against the world champions Alisson and Bruno. This game is first, though. And you just have to take your hat off to what has been a fine performance by the 2013 world champions. Herrera's moved into that short area again. They're going to block angle, maybe. Tries to steer it back line. Sloppy from Herrera. And this has been a performance that has been so out of character from the Spanish. So out of character that I'd be surprised if they can pick it up in the second set. They've got no momentum. They've got no confidence out there at the moment. Pablo Herrera now passing off the net, having to hit off the net. Now he's blocked from Mewson. Second chance, Gabira this time from the left side. Tries to shoot Jumbo, but he's matched by Mewson. Chance to win the set. Sorry, Brower with the swing. Full stretch dive from Gabira is good, and the ball goes skyboard. Is it going to go over? It's going to be very close. Oh, just lands on the Spanish side. So that ends the first set, and it's Mewson and Brewer that demand respect with a 21-9 victory. It might be a bronze medal match game, but they are playing like gold medalists here. Midway, possibly through this game. Look at that, 21-9. Herrera and Gavira not playing their normal game. Rara and Houston storming that first set here in Long Beach and now they must be favourites for the goal I'm sorry for the bronze medal remember in that first set Robert Mewson hitting the ball down the line going through the net and taking Herrera out as we look at some highlights from that first set, which is one way traffic, really. That reverse set, Mewson from the right side taking Herrera out, and Herrera never recovered from that. Look, his knee twisted, it was quite obvious that his knee twisted on the landing. And since then, he's really struggled with his side out play. They've served him short. They've got quite a lot of blocks on Herrera, and that was a sloppy error from him. But also, he doesn't look to be jumping the way that he normally does, Pablo Herrera. Jumping in angle that time, using the fork. Brower making a dig. More digs than normal for Alex Bray. He's been unstoppable, and that sky ball almost making it over but just dropping short, signaling the end of the first set. The Spanish. Quiet as mouses in their timeout area. Mewson 
No signs of that knee injury actually uh, you know, not holding his knee Herrera, not doing anything, but psychologically there's no doubt that he was affected by Robert Mewson flying through the right side and catching him after going underneath the net. Seven errors from the Spanish in the first set. That's uncharacteristic from them. Eight kills from the Netherlands. And two aces are the two stats that really stand out for me. The service pressure has been too good from the team in white. Goofy toss. Big serve. They celebrate the duck, but the line judge has given it out. Brower's going back to serve again, but the line judge gave it out. But I think the referee has given it. Yes, he has given it to the Dutch. The line judge on the left side, I think, did see the ball go in. More service pressure on Herrera, who really needs to get going in this set. That's better. The rest has done him good as he shoots high line and makes a point for Spain. This is going to be the key component for this set. Is Pablo Herrera going to be able to recover from what was a disastrous first set for Spain? This time, the two attack. Newson sets up Brower. 2-1, the Netherlands need lead early on in this second set. Newson with another thunderbolt from the baseline, running in to try and get the block onto Gavira. Change up in the serve, but when the players jump serving, sometimes it doesn't really matter who you serve. You're obviously going to try and single out one player, but if you're going for speed and power, sometimes you just try and hammer it as hard as you possibly can. Newson from the right side, from the centre, chips line, makes hay. The Netherlands again and this is what's been important for them they've sided out well and they've also received serve very very strongly if this team pass well at the height that they are they're going to be very hard to stop okay very much an indoor physical style of volleyball more service pressure good recovery from the Spanish but really this should be a Dutch point wide play right out to the pin off the right leg of Gavira and out of play but that's some effort from the Spanish defender too hard from Mewson. Dictates one down the line, Robert Mewson. Spanish renowned for their footballing skills. more bombs from the baseline the point before we change ends it's time Brown can only bomb one into the net as we head to our first change of ends the team's changing ends every seven points the right side as we look at the court on our main camera is the strongest side here in Long Beach it's a typical Californian day with that wind blowing off the ocean in the afternoon Usually cloudy in the morning in California. Newsom this time takes pace off the ball and drops it down the line. And in the afternoon, the sun comes out and the wind blows off the ocean. How it is today, quite gusty at times, meaning that Ferreira Gavira are at the so-called good end. Finally three, and if it's any consolation to Spain, they're a third of the way to their target of what they got last set. Pablo Herrera blocked again from Mewson. They're trying to pin Herrera into that corner of the court and then I think that time, and we might see on the replay that they jump in angle and take the angle away from Herrera because of them serving short into that corner makes it hard A for the hitter to make an approach B as Gavira tries to hammer on two and hammers long it makes it hard with a player to try and hit down the line. So, especially with a six foot nine blocker, someone as talented as Robert Mewson, it's very hard to get past them when you're served short and pinned into area. More passing problems for Pablo Herrera, but he does go deep angle, and it is a saving grace for him because it takes a deflection off of 
Alex Brower and Spain take the point. But still inconsistencies for Spain are really hurting them here. More physicality, more power, this time to the deep middle position. It's something that the Spanish haven't been able to deal with. That alongside the fact that they haven't passed well and been inconsistent with spiking. Another miss serve from Brower. That's two in a row from him, but he won't mind because when they do go in, he knows that there's a lot of pressure on Herrera and Gavira. Another money pass to the sets tight. And then they're going through the net again. This is something that's really going to frustrate the Spanish. You can see Herrera really Sincere shouting Sincere. at Brower now. And Gavira's getting involved. And the second referee's running onto court because that time Brower came underneath the net. More Sincere. frustration Sincere. for Herrera because what I saw there is that actually Herrera Sincere. had the ball. The ball was already over the net. See here, the set was so... Well, it was an over set. So, Brower had absolutely no chance of getting a hand onto that one. And I think he knows of his reaction. It was such an over set. Herrera had that. A little bit naughty from Brower. Not that they mind. They go for everything, this Dutch pair. He's already been hit once, Herrera. He didn't want to be taken out again. Big, aggressive boys, this Dutch team. It's working because they're bullying the Spanish team physically at times, but more so on the volleyball court. Brown Mewson are still in charge here. They're a couple up on the Spanish after winning the first set, 21-9. The American fans, they love their beach volleyball, especially the typical Californian weather. The Brazilians are here after the success of Larissa and Talita earlier on in the day, taking gold over Kerry Walsh Jennings and April Ross. The next game up is Alisson and Bruno for world champions and the Brazilian favourites, and they're up against the big block of Phil Dauhauser and the sand lizard that's Nick Lucena. Brower Mewson could be happy with their day's work as they're commanding respect on the rest of the world tour as we look at some highlights, mostly Dutch highlights in this performance. The highlights tell the story. The Dutch are in charge here. There's been quite a long time out. We're almost ready to go again. The serving pressure of Brower and Mewson. Mewson has got blocks at the net. They're utilizing serving Herrera short and making pressure on him and his approach and his spiking. Been a very physical match up here in the bronze medal game, and we're going to have a look at some of the biggest collisions so far between this one, Herrera going down, twisting his knee, going high impact there from Robert Buson. Not a contact sport, beach volleyball, but this game has had a couple of big, big encounters, and that time on Gravira. Brower getting caught up again. This one was the last one that we saw. A 
again going through the net, Alexander Brella. That one was not his ball here. His partner Mewson had already overset that one. See how Spain react. Outside again. Error from Brower. That's a rare spiking error. It's a rare error today anyway from the Dutch. Back to passing. It's a change up in the serve. Newsom from the right just wipes off the block of Pablo Herrera. He's very frustrated with himself. He would have wanted to close his left hand out a little bit better than that. Instead, he gets told by the six foot nine Mewson. Big hand slaps and celebrations from the Dutch. Brower and Mewson are at the good end with the wind blowing in their face. And with the jump serve in prowess that they have, they can cause real problems for the Spanish again. But lucky, or luckily, for Herrera and Guevara, they get away with it. And they're back to just one. So this is the closest this game's been for a little while. And Spain could possibly get their way back in here. Oh, not the cleanest hand set from Newsom. Doesn't matter as Brower unleashes regardless on the angle. He's a big, big customer, isn't he? Jumps high, he's athletic. Alex Brower. Better jump serve after missing a couple in a row. Gavirus get, gets clamped out. Doesn't quite go to the net, so second chance for the Dutch. Scampering away, Gavira on one. Miscommunication, I think, from the Dutch. They can only look at each other, both breaking off the net, leaving the front of the court empty. The ball just drops in, means point for Spain. Could be a game changer here. First block was good. Does well, Brower, to still manage to get the ball in off a one for the takeoff, but that is poor from the Dutch, and that's why their heads are down because there's no way that that dig from Gavira should kill the point. This could be the little bit of luck that the Spanish need to raise their confidence. Passes off the net, they're out of system, and that's a block for Pablo Herrera. A little bit of get your own back from the Spanish to draw them level. Now he's fired up. He wasn't before after almost getting physically assaulted three times. From the Netherlands. He gets a bit of his own back here. He's high. Takes his line. Right hand strong where his left wasn't on the previous occasion from the opposite side. And he makes the block that his team need to come back all square. We're one point away from the technical timeout and it would be a fantastic achievement for the Spanish if they could sneak another dig or a block here and take the lead. More big power, I suggest. Another block, two in a row. Pablo Herrera, fist clenching celebration as the Spanish head to the technical timeout in charge for the first time in this game. It took them a little while to wake up the Spanish. They got bullied. They got pushed around by this Dutch team. But now, Pablo Herrera is doing a little bit of bullying himself. Huge blocking. From Pablo Herrera. Two in a row, changing up. The first one was on the line. The second one was jumping in angle. A few mind games there, changing it up. In the block, changing the picture. Happier timeout, but so happy that Gavira is out early. He's making a statement to his opposition. Herrera follows casually. Not unseen before this from Brower and Mewson. As we said before, when everything's going their way, they are unstoppable. But they miss a couple of serves, they get blocked a couple of times, and it all starts to have issues. That's a better start. That's Alex Brower at his best, charging through the middle and just fading a hard hit away towards the sideline. Nice play from Brower.
Pereira again getting served at this side. Two different to what we've seen before. He likes to hit that angle when he gets moved to the sideline. Just wraps his wrists around this ball. You have a look at his finish on this spike. Has a good look at the bottom of his jump. And then his arm just goes through the ball and his arm finishes almost towards his right hand pocket. Oh, double touch there against Newson trying to spread the play. Ball just more dominant, I think, with the right hand, meaning it comes out spinning and he gets caught with a double touch. That's a timeout from the Netherlands. If they weren't sweating, that's a very good indication that possibly the pressure is starting to build on this big team. It's their fifth final four of 2015. They got a gold in Porek, Croatia in the major series, silver in Lucerne, and Fuzhou in China and a bronze in Stade. They're looking to win their second bronze of the season. But Spain got their way back into this. They, they've not given up. That double touch. Just showing again that the ball hit his right hand and his left hand. His right hand proving to be more dominant than his left throughout that phase of the hand contact in the set, meaning the ball comes out spinning. Teams are back out in what has got to be, it must be said, the most competitive time of the game. Remember, it was only 10 minutes ago that the teams walked off of the court and that Pereira Guevara got battered 21 9. At least now they find themselves in front. More reverse play, but it's a reverse off of the bump. Just counteracting the win there, I think, with the reverse play. Oh, gamble at the net goes Guevara's way. Now they've switched. Guevara's blocking, but the big figure of Robert Newson gets the play. Robert Newson, 207 centimeters tall. Joust at the net was won by Gavira, but it's not always the best news when you win a joust because unless it hits the sand, the opposing team get a second chance to put the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Second time of asking, it wasn't pretty, but the big left arm of Robert Eusen could just reach and get the pokey inside the block of Gavira and make the point. Well off the net. Great setting from Gavira, but Herrera can only access the line. And all that Mewson and Brower can do is swing out. They're arguing, saying, you know it, that that ball touched the line. The line judge gave the ball out. The Dutch are fuming here. It's the Dutch's turn to have a little bit of a moan at the referee. Still having a whinge, Robert Mewson. Definitely no touch, I don't think. It's the back line where the problem was. It's a big call at a big time. Just for the fact that it was either a tight game and now the Spanish lead by two. That time there was a touch off the block and a bit of get your own back time from Alexander Brower. Confidence was taken out of him in that first set as they change at 14 all and really the heads down from the man in the red cap. He's almost been hit a couple of times in his block by potent spikes where players come through the net and almost taken him out. Once he did get taken out and twisted his knee. It's a great reply from them though. They find themselves even but they've just lost two in a row to let the big Dutch team back in the game. The crowd are loving their beach volleyball here. Last weekend it was the Manhattan Beach Open taking place just a half an hour or so up the road. This week it's the World Series of Beach Volleyball in Long Beach as we see some highlights from what has been a much more competitive game of beach volleyball in this second set.
first set where the Dutch found it all too easy. They're having a much tougher task in the second. Two blocks in a row earlier on in the set by Herrera. Built confidence in the Spanish camp. But it's the Dutch that had the best of the last two points. So in the timeout, we've gone in all square at 14 all. The Dutch still focused, very quiet. Brouwer and Newson. They beat Bockham and Flugen. They've beaten Mexico. Seminoff and Vasilnikov throughout this competition. They've had some good results. They have lost two on their way, obviously losing the semi-final to Alisson and Bruno. And earlier on to Victor Felipe and Alvaro. Ferreira Gaviria who are going to make their way back onto court first. 14 all. If the Dutch take this set, they take the bronze medal and what would be the fourth, sorry, fifth medal this season. The Spanish are looking for their second medal, but they've got a little bit of work to do. And if they do win this one, they're going to a tiebreaker. Big battle at the net goes Herrera's way. I think we're almost going through the net again there, the Dutch. Not quite sure, but Herrera does get higher than the big Robert Newson and just plants the ball over the top of his block into the corner. <laughs> On the left side, more blocking from Herrera. This two-point lead has reopened. Three kill blocks in this set from Pablo Herrera. Closed out that inside hand of Herrera. is exemplary to anyone watching that. It's off the right hand actually. Closes the block again. A good example of how that right hand should be pushed right over the net. And the left should be supporting it. Outside, left, that's better from Newson. The one thing with this team is you always fancy them to pick up big points because of the way that they serve. If Brower gets his jump serve going, he can cause collateral damage from the baseline. There's an ace. It's exactly what we were just speaking about. He has such good range on his jump serve, power and accuracy from Alex Brower has brought us back even again, dipping right into the back corner, he's seven completely into the wind there, the wind's blowing right into Alex Brower's face there, ball's dipping all the time, which means when the wind's gusting like this, you can hit it another 20% and the ball will drop in, this time he does fire wide, but he'll be fairly happy with his job at the back, one ace, meant that this team now are back to just one point as we are at the important end of the set. Service pressure this time from Guevara. The set's tight, but the height of Newton is too much, but the ball's squeezed out. It means that Herrera's doing his job again in the block, making the life of Newton very, very difficult. Service pressure from Gavira. Oh, let's see here the Dutch, and it's sloppy passing and setting that's cost the Dutch here. Two in a row has opened up a three point gap, and their inability to side out twice on the trot has meant that a tie break set is looking very favourable here. You wouldn't bet against Herrera and Gavira from here, surely. 19 16, much down to this man's service pressure, Adrian Gavira. He's going to jump set into the wind again this way. It's a better pass, but they're going to set over here because of the slight crosswind. And it's a good chip back from Alex Brower. Still in this, then, the Dutch. But Herrera Gavira have got to look at this as if they manage to side out, then they've got a couple of swings for the second set to send it to the tiebreaker. No surprise they go short on Herrera. They're going to jump in angle maybe? No, they don't. They leave the angle open and he takes full advantage of it, Pablo Herrera. And he brings up set point for Spain 
After losing the first set 21-9, they have been much more consistent in this set. Herrera, funny enough, being one of the reasons why he's been so much better. He's picked up his consistency. He's had a much better set at the net. Three blocks and he sided out better as well. Double touch again from Houston means we're going to a tie break set here. Two handling errors from Robert Mewson on that reverse play. Again, two contacts in the hand due to a heavy right hand from the big blocker means they go back to this timeout chairs this time. The unhappier of the two teams. After cruising in the first set, 21-9, Brown Houston find themselves on the receiving end of a beating in the second. 21-17, Herrera and Rivera take that one. And we're going to a tiebreaker here in Long Beach. We're all tied at one all here. Going into the third set, we're just going to have a look at some tie break. Uh, sorry, some high highlights before we go to the tie break set. into a tie-breaking set that I feel has all of the makings to be an absolute classic here. As you look at some beautiful scenes of the ocean. Unbelievable stats coming through here. But the Netherlands made 13 errors in that set. <laughs> but really, the Spanish only made eight points. Unbelievable. The Spanish have really cleaned up their game, becoming a lot more consistent. This players come back onto court. It's going to be extremely intriguing to see who's going to get the better start. A good start is important for both teams in a race to 15 that's going to be over very quickly. And it's Spain that gets off to the start. Herrera is the target again, but he fades that one into the back corner extremely well and he makes it look very, very simple. With the backup serve from Guevara, who did serve, he was clinical, wasn't he, in the second set? made two or three big serves at big times that took his team into control and ended up taking the second set to force it to this tie break. Herrera again moved to the sideline. Big blow from Pablo Herrera. No respect for the block of Robert Mewson. He just goes and crushes hard down the line. One of the steepest balls we have seen all day here, straight down. Seeing dust fly up. After the board landed, better setting from the Dutch, and that's a big line blow of their own from Alexander Brower. Teams are trading here in what is going to be one of the most entertaining sets of the entire weekend. After a poor start, losing 21-9, and Pablo Herrera losing his temper on a couple of occasions. They've got it back here, the Spanish. It's a wide set. Herrera goes off the block. It's a full stretch dive from Brower that he's nowhere near it really in the context of trying to make the ball stay in the air and go towards his partner advantage Spain as the team's change ends at 3-2 
Gavira from Spain now at the so-called good end. is jump seven completely into the wind, which both teams are trying to do. Side out of high class. A high level these guys are playing at. Houston just dictates one straight down the middle of the court. You'll see that both teams all use the wind to their advantage, especially from the end that Spain are at now, serving from the left side to the opposition's left side across the court. Big defensive play, but it's an overset. Should be points to Herrera. And it is very interesting thing there is that the ball is very close to the net, but this time... Alex Brower left it well alone and let Herrera have it. We didn't see that in the in the first set. We saw Alex Brower trying to get every single ball that was close to the net. A difference in psyche there. The Dutch, but it's a point for the Spanish. Herrera is charging in now to try and get the block after serving. He does get the block. Lines up well. He's much smaller than Brower, almost three inches smaller. But my my, does he get up well? After getting three or four huge blocks in the last set for that, that right hand has been very stern all day on that right side of his block, and no wonder he's happy. Looks intense, looks in control, Herrera now, who's he's received 27 serves to Gavira's four in this game. He's had all the pressure. This time it's too hard, but what a set from Herrera! Play of the day from Spain! A huge scoop in defence from Gavira! Flies into the net, Herrera gets lower than the net to scoop out the set, and Gavira comes flying through like a train to deliver a big, big kill. But this lines up well, Herrera. Great reaction from Gavira. That set from Herrera was outstanding. And the pictures tell you everything. Out the net, it's always important to make sure that the setter gets lower than the net to try and get the ball up high. Herrera did that very, very well. Timeout for the Netherlands, no wonder why. Because they're feeling the heat here in California. After cruising the first set, they found it tough going. Pablo Herrera has upped his game. And now he is unstoppable, whether it's setting or blocking or siding out. Everything that Herrera is touching is going to goal. There he is on the left side of your screen. Get 30 seconds here to replan reorganized for the next phase of play. Herrera and Gavira haven't got much to say to each other and they shouldn't have really because at the moment everything they are doing is working. Remember they have the better in head to heads over these. They've won four out of the five matchups but this year it's one one in matches. How many times do we see that after a timeout that the server will serve out something that's turned into a rare error from Pablo Herrera he's really tidied up his game after struggling in the first set he's had to receive well almost 30 serves to Gavira's four in this game chance sorry probably gonna have to try and side out again doesn't have to side out because the big service pressure from the Dutch only finds the net Three missed serves in a row. It will get more exciting than this, I promise. Hopefully we can get some play and get some rallies back now. Robert Newsom's going to serve and then charge through. He does say so Herrera is the target again from the left side. Herrera fires again. Phenomenal. Herrera. If you watch the first set, it's like watching a complete different customer. He is really playing well now. He gets in well. He's a good starting position from Herrera, but that's a world-class shot from Alex Brower, who just takes pace off the ball. More like a 60-70% fast off-speed shot to the sideline. 
They need to stay in touch here, the Dutch, because we know the service pressure can get them right back into the game. Brower's going to need something now, though, I think. That's a very good serve, but it goes back on one from Spain. It's a second chance for Newson on the right side, but Herrera peels and he's equal to it, so more chances for Herrera. This time, ill discipline in the block from Robert Newson, costs the Dutch, and there's a change of ends. And it's still a three point game with Herrera and Guevara in control. Vera, who's serving in that second set, took Spain away. Will be looking for more joy from the service line. Good service pressure again. They have to go reverse here. Brower from the right. Again, the break from Herrera is successful. That's twice in a row that's been successful. He can't convert this time, so Gavira gets a chance now from the left. Gator up, popped it up in defense. But Spain take the point, and Herrera is flying out there now. Brower initially with a good pop in defense, did well to get his hands behind the ball and underneath it. But this here started to dominate the net here, Herrera. I think all of his moanings and whinings and frustrations at the referee, some of them rightly so, has caused a little bit of danger in the Dutch camp. They're not quite as aggressive at the net on the jousts as they were earlier on. This time, Gavira's jump serve goes long, but he'll be happy with his work from the baseline today. time to side out to stay in charge and does so they're edging ever so closer now to taking this bronze medal and winning their second medal of the FIVB World Tour season for our more reverse plays they're reversing everything straight down the middle in his shoulder line just hits wherever his shoulders are hitting on that one Is this gap too big now? Absolutely massive that one from Brower, all the same. Goofy toss jump serve again. This time Spain will be out of system. It's tight to the net. Newson gets the clamp. And we're back to just two. There's a side change. The interesting component here is that the Dutch now are going to the good end. This here, you can't set that tight to the net when you've got Robert Newson on patrol. He will just clamp you out. Looks like they're going to change up here with Brewer looking at Gavira. No, he does go down the line to Herrera. Sorry, my fault. He needs to side out. He does side out. He's been relentless in this set. We're very much in the business end of the game, but swings like that from Pablo Herrera, he's high, he's vertical, he's balanced in the air, and he makes more points for Spain. They're three away, and they're also three in front here. They needed that one, Holland, and they do get it, which is important. This time, down the line, Pablo Herrera. We saw a crushing blow on the angle. Now we see him open up, dive through the gap, field goal for Herrera. He's high, he's hard, and he's dominant. Two more for Spain will give them the bronze medal when many people had written them off 
after the first set. What a comeback this has been, but they still have a job to do here. Newsom from the right, but the dig is there, and Gavira's there. The diving on the angle worked for Stain, and now a chance for Gavira, but he shuts straight down from Brower. Herrera made seven kills in the first two sets. In this set, he's made ten already as he gets shut down by the big imposing figure of Robert Mewson. Two-point game, two points will win it from Spain. All to play for it. Big jump says they're going to need three or four of those. The Dutch, they want to win this one. Takes a dive in on the angle. They double up the Dutch. It doesn't work as another line shot from Herrera is a grand one. And it's match point for Herrera Guevara. What a comeback it's been for this Spanish team. Match point, side spinning toss. Trying to use a win to advantage to stay in the game. Brower, they do stay in the game, and now they're going to have to find something from the baseline to really get themselves back in this. One side out from probably Pablo Herrera. Gavira has been very quiet and quiet in the side out stage today. We're at match point. The ball goes in short again. Are they going to throw in a dive and take the cross court? It's tight to the net. Gavira and Herrera take the bronze medal. Pablo Herrera showing mental strength because he struggled through that first set. And look how much it means for the Spanish because that first set, well, they struggled so much. Pablo Herrera really dug in hard there and got his rhythm back to win 15-12 in the final set. Herrera and Gavira, the Long Beach Grand Slam bronze medalist from the World Series of Beach Volleyball, and they can be very proud with what was one of the best comebacks I have seen for a long, long time. Many teams, after losing the first set 21-9, would struggle to come back. It was Pablo Herrera that had all of the service pressure, but he just dug his heels in and he refused to let go, Pablo Herrera. He got stronger and stronger throughout that game. And they can sit there very happy with their week's work. Their second FIVB World Tour Medal of the Year after taking gold in Moscow. Brower and Mewson disappear very quickly from the centre court. And if the gold medal match between Dalhauser and Lee Senna and Alison Bruno is anything to go after that, it's going to be an epic final as we go to some highlights from what was one of the best matches we've seen all weekend here. It's a game that started well for the Dutch. Big service pressure, but Pablo Herrera, especially under pressure, he struggled to find his side out rhythm. He struggled in the blocking as well, but as the game progressed, Herrera got better and better, supported by the ever so consistent Adrian Gavira. It's Spain that take the bronze from Long Beach. He got terrorized all day, Herrera, but he worked hard as the game progressed and found answers. He got more and more confident, more and more physical. He saw some big blows on the angles, some big hits down the line, and that's celebrations from Spain, and they deserve it because it's one of the best comebacks that we have seen all season on the FIVB World Tour. After their phenomenal performance, we are just about to hear from the World Series of Beach Volleyball bronze medalists. They're down on the centre court, stadium court, with the legend of the game, that's Sinjin Smith. Okay, I'm here with the bronze medalist Spanish team and uh, hard-fought match. You beat this team before, but they were very, very difficult today. Why was it difficult today? I'm going to speak in Spanish because my English is really bad. Pienso que la diferencia 
Fue Pablo, el primer set entramos un poco dormidos, no estamos acostumbrados a tanta televisión, parones eh, publicitarios y Pablo la verdad que el segundo set en el Tebre jugó muy muy bien en Saidao y en bloqueo. Y nada, muy contento de volver a pisar un podio este año y a disfrutar. Ok, so you're, you're, I'm assuming you're very happy about beating this team because in the beginning they won the first game and then you came back and you won the next two games, but it was very difficult. How did things change after the first game? Eh, yo creo que ha sido desaidado, ¿no? Ellos han sacado muy bien el primer set. En bloqueo han estado muy agresivos también y el segundo set y el tie break hemos jugado muy bien en, en side out y bloqueo defensa y yo creo que ha sido la, la clave. Ok, congratulations to both of you, your bronze medalist team from Spain. The Spanish pairing of Herrera and Guevara obviously very much delighted from what was a fantastic comeback winning in the tie break set here in Long Beach to get on the podium and take the bronze.